Hi, uh, welcome back. Um, something that uh, if you've done workshops with us before, you've probably been introduced to, but I wanted to give you a quick reminder of this activity. I call it a crossword puzzle. It's called a crossword puzzle. Sometimes people call it something else. And we're going to go through this again really, really fast here. Uh, but first to remind you of the idea that the learning process, during the learning process, we can do things to kind of see how students are learning or to help them in that process, and we call those the formative assessments of learning. This is, again, formative assessment meaning monitoring student learning, and the key is it comes during the learning process. So it's not really an end point, it's during the process of learning. Low or no point value, low stakes, low risk, and certainly a crossword puzzle is unquestionably a formative, or can be used as a formative assessment of learning. So it is a type of formative assessment of learning. It's also an active learning activity. Shilon's talked to you about active learning. It's an opportunity to engage students in discussion. She's talked to you about discussion. Uh, and an opportunity to engage students in groups or teams, especially if you have them working collaboratively to solve one of these crossword puzzles. All right, just to remind you of what this is all about. So we have words that are gonna fill these blocks and we have clues. So as an example, two across right here, Walt's home state is Illinois. There it fits, I-L-L-I-N-O-I-S. Great, perfect. Highest level of Bloom's taxonomy. Four across, the highest level is, you remember what the highest level is? Of course you do. Create, works perfectly. Bloom's is one of these. I actually just said the word a few seconds ago. Taxonomy, there it is right there. And the tissue that learns, our tissue that learns, of course, this thing up here is called the brain. That fits very nicely. So those are the across. And then the, the down should line up with that. So one, one down is the opposite of remember. What's the opposite of remember? I remember something or I forget something, or in this case, forgetting. Lowest level of Bloom's taxonomy is, do you remember what the lowest level of Bloom's taxonomy is? Remember, of course you do. And then finally, we need a lesson what? We need a lesson plan for each of our lessons as we go into the classroom. All right. This is a real simple reminder of what a, what a, a crossword puzzle is. Um, and I'm going to show you in a few moments how to, to make one, give you one example of how to make one. But before I do that, well, I'm sorry, let me back up. I'm getting ahead of myself here a little bit. What level, at what level of Bloom's taxonomy are your students working if they're doing a crossword puzzle? And I suggest, what do you think? I suggest that they're probably working at pretty much this level right here. Remember, understand. They're not doing very much higher level thinking. So this is a great way to um, review or have your students to review or rethink basic vocabulary, definitions, those kinds of things. You could make these, these uh, clues a, a little bit harder and maybe kind of bump that up a little bit into maybe the apply, maybe the analyze, but mostly what we're talking about with crossword puzzle is the very, very low levels of Bloom's taxonomy. But that's very, very helpful, very useful. Let me remind you of this. The forgetting curve, hopefully you haven't forgot about the forgetting curve already, how quickly we forget within 20 minutes. We've already forgot 40%, et cetera, et cetera, coming on down the line here. So we forget very quickly. And if you also recall from Ebbinghaus's uh, forgetting curve, that the more reviews we give over time, the flatter this curve gets. So in this case, the idea is you do a 10 minute review here, five minute, five minute, five minute, five minute. By the time you're over here, if you've reviewed those really, really key points multiple times, the students will remember the vast majority of that. The reason I remind you of this is crossword puzzle, depending upon how complex it is, how many words it is, and so on. Well, that's easily 10 minutes. It's, it probably takes longer than five minutes, but, but the crossword puzzle is a really uh, good way to have some initial review of some of the key points. Again, focusing back on vocabulary, definitions, and those kinds of things. So it is a type of review as a formative learning assessment. Okay, how do you make a crossword puzzle? Uh, you come up with words. 
first a list of words, and I suggest say 20, 25 words, something like that. I've done as many as 40 and made it work, but 20, 25 is probably a good number to, to, to work with and start with. Uh, use broad concept words, words representing details, so concepts and details and everything in between. So it's not all just concept words, it's not all just detail words, but try to get a spread across uh, whatever topic it is that you're using this for to, to reinforce. Uh, and the way you do this for this particular online resource is you type the word and leave a blank space, then type the clue. So here the word was create, the clue was highest level of blooms. So create blank space, highest level of blooms. Remember blank, lowest level of blooms, and so on. So the word, a space, and then whatever your clue is. Triple check, hint, hint, hint. Triple check your spelling. If you misspell one of the words, the computer doesn't know any different. It's just going to put that in there and everything's going to be wrong. <laughs> trust me, everything will be wrong. Also trust me, if you misspell something in your clues, the other computer that's in your classroom, they're called students, will catch that very, very quickly. And they will remind you, under no uncertain terms, that you have a misspelling in your clues. So triple check your spelling. Don't make any mistakes there. Okay, how do you do this? You take that list, you go to this website, puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation, all one word, uh, puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation, all one word, dot com. Uh, they call it a crisscross puzzle, it's the same thing. Follow the instructions. You literally copy and paste your list into that, push the magic button, and it'll pop up a crossword puzzle with the clues um, as appropriate for that particular puzzle. And you can do, make multiple ones to, to design it however you want, make it fit on a page or something like that. There are other websites, I'm sure, that make crossword puzzles. This is one that I use a lot, and I, I will tell you that once I kind of learn how to use it, I can make one very, very quickly. I can come up with my list of words, clues, a few minutes, I can get that puzzle almost ready to go. So it doesn't take very long to do that. Okay. That's a quick review of the crossword puzzle. You have a puzzle that you can do. Uh, you've been given a puzzle as one of your handouts uh, that encompasses many of the concepts dis uh, discussed in these videos. Uh, solve it during the breaks or take it home with you, whatever the case may be. You can do it alone or even better, and I recommend this, to work with your colleagues. Go back and forth. Test, kind of sort of test each other on that. Um, now, I will tell you at this point, you may not be able to complete the crossword puzzle because we've not gone through all the, the videos yet. But as you go along, do the best you can and then finish it when you get the opportunity. Good luck.